Hi guys, I hope you're well and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back with a video on my tips on how to safely and effectively remove henna stains from the skin but also it applies to jaguar stains too. We all know that lovely feeling when you've had a fresh henna stain and it looks all dark and beautiful and you can't help but stare at it and admire it. But what do you do when the henna stain starts to fade and it doesn't look so fabulous anymore? or if you want to remove the henna stain faster than the one to two weeks that henna stain typically lasts for. First of all, let's get on to the science bit. We need to remember that the henna paste stains the upper layers of the skin and it penetrates through the first few layers of the skin and it permanently dyes the skin cells. However, henna stains are temporary and last approximately a week because the skin naturally exfoliates and sheds the older layers of skin cells. The orangey patchy look that you sometimes get after the henna stain is faded is the lower layers of skin cells that have been dyed that are coming to the surface. If we want to speed up the process of the henna fade or henna removal, then we need to speed up the process of exfoliation. There isn't a quick fix answer that is safe and effective. So here are my seven tips that I hope you'll find useful. Tip one is to take long soaks in a hot bath using bath salts, exfoliators and scrubs. Using a body scrunchy scrub, gently rub at the skin and you could try this hand scrub that I found in the shop Lush. It's made of coconut and salt and it makes your hands smell as divine but it also makes your skin feel really soft. Tip two, once you get out of a hot shower or hot bath, use a towel to gently rub in circular motions on the area of the henna stain that you want to remove. I find this the most useful method for myself and I would just recommend that you don't rub too vigorously because you can end up damaging your skin. I've had that experience and I wouldn't recommend it. Tip three is to have fun and build a sandcastle. So I found when I visited the beach that when I was building sandcastles that the sand gently was abrasing my skin and it was helping the process of exfoliation. Tip four is to have a soak in the sea or have a soak in a swimming pool. So swimming pools typically have chlorine in them and the chlorine will kill off bacteria but it also strips the skin of natural oils and it can dry out the skin which makes exfoliation process faster. You'll also find with the sea that the salt in the sea can also dry out the skin and this can also act as an exfoliator. Tip five is exercising and sweating. So exercising and sweating can help increase the dead skin cell turnover. And also exfoliating post-exercise is also highly recommended. And you might want to try riding a bike if you really want to remove henna stains from the palms of your hands. Tip six is to have a relax in a sauna or steam room. So these both make exfoliating much easier. Tip seven is to do the dishes, and that means ditching the dishwasher. Regular washing of the hands will also help speed up the fade process. So just a gentle bit of advice. I have seen on the web recommendations to use bleach, to use acids, to use alcohol on your skin, all of which I would strongly not recommend, um, mainly because they can be extremely harsh and they contain chemicals that can be dangerous to your skin causing scars, burns, um, or upset the pH balance of your skin. My last tip is to perhaps ignore the henna stain and focus attention somewhere else, or why not get a fresh henna application or jaguar application over the design and have a two-tone look. If you have any safe and effective recommendations on how you remove henna, I would love to read about those. Please leave me a comment in the section below. And if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your feedback. And lastly, thank you for watching and stay in touch. Bye.